All right, guys, it's gonna be a little bit of a kind of different video. It's gonna be back into what it started with some car audio stuff. Well, audio stuff. It's not in the car, but so I was sitting here building a little boom box thing for my six and a half. Just to have some in the garage. Got an extra head unit laying around. I was trying to figure out what to power it with, and I didn't really want to buy an adapter on a Amazon or anything. I was looking around the house, and my Xbox took a shit on me. I had a 360 Xbox 360 Slim, and this is the power supply from it. So I got to looking. And I don't know if you can see. No, it's not going to focus, but it says it's 12 volts at 10 amps, which is plenty for a head unit. So I got to looking, and... This is the end that comes off it. So I got to messing with it with the meter and you can't get 12 volts out of it like this cause there's got the safety feature to where it's gotta be connected. So when you cut the end off of it, this is what you got. You got these wires. So your two yellow wires are your 12 volt hot. The blacks and the gray are your grounds. And then if I remember right, the red one is five volts and the blue one is a uh, 12 volt enable or whatever you want to call it so the only way you're going to get 12 volts between the black and the yellow is to connect these two it needs to see that these are connected aka connected into that xbox to give you 12 volts so i'm going to go ahead and connect those and i'm going to show you what we get all right this is where we're at now as you can see i got it plugged in and we do have the green light on there so we have the red and the blue tied together so that's giving it the signal to turn on the power supply the two yellows are going to the positive lead on the meter and then i got all the grounds together and you can see when we hit the grounds 12.2 volts so now all we got to do is attach uh hook up the wires you know the speaker wires like normal get everything ran to the head unit so i'm going to be using this is my old uh old Alpine Bluetooth head unit. So I'm gonna attach that probably in the top of the box somehow or another. And yeah, we're gonna hook this up and we should be able to listen to music in the garage without having to pull out the inside speaker all the time. Just a project, I guess, during this quarantine time. All right, I know this was a really short video and I'm sorry, but I just kind of got carried away and just went ahead and finished it. As you can see, it's not the prettiest thing. We got the head unit. Oh head unit in the top right there like i said xbox 360 power brick on the back and just for fun i had this old belt out to bmw that i put on there to carry it with but yeah it's got bluetooth and it it sounds really good it's loud too the uh let me pull the head unit so i can show you what i ended up doing it's kind of a jumble of wires in here but you can see the uh you can't see anything let's take my word for it the uh the yellow wires go to the positive, the black and the brown go to uh, the negative, and the uh, other, the yellow and the red go, or the blue and the red go together on the Xbox. And then, as far as the speakers, these are all single voice coil, eight ohm uh, mid range. So I got the one, two, three, I got these three hooked together. So that gave me, what was it? three ohms 3.4 ohms three here and three here on the just uh i'm using like the front right and the front left or whichever way it's supposed to be and yeah it, it sounds good i can't uh show you how it sounds because my phone will let me play music and record a video at the same time yeah i think it came out pretty good for just a little throwing together project I need to cover the box because it, it looks a little rough but yeah all in all i'm pretty pleased with it